Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to go ahead and unbox the Hummingbird Helix 7 Chirp Mega Down Image. That's right, 7 inch with the Meg G3N. Let's go ahead and unbox it. Let's see what's in the box. So let's get right to it. All right, the first thing we got right here, warranty and instruction manuals. Gimbal bracket for the head unit. You got your transducer hardware. This is for the transom, the back of the boat. Power cord. And probably what I'm most excited for is this brand new all 2019 G3N units got new transducers. So this one is the low Q chirp transducer. This guy here does the dual spectrum wide, narrow, and full spectrum chirp sonar. And it's got the mega down imaging built into it, the meg. So finally, they're putting this mega imaging technology in the seven inch units. So that's what the fine people at Hummingbird have been working on for us. So thank you to them. Then right here, we got the head unit. Let's go ahead and look, take a look at some of the features on the... Uh, some of the features you get in the box. You get your Bluetooth, your networking. This tells you all the different things that this unit can do. Mega down, 360, chirp, build your own charts. It's compatible with Navionics, Lake Masters. Just a bunch of technology packed into this seven inch unit. If you got a kayak, if you got a canoe, if you got a bass boat, if you want to go ice fishing, awesome units, guys. We're going to go ahead and power this thing up on the front of the boat. We're going to look at some of the stuff in demo mode. All right, guys, we got this thing all fired up. Let's just go through some of the uh, some of the screens right here on demo mode, and then we'll talk a little bit about the Lake Master mapping. So right here, here's your... Um, Dual spectrum sonar. You got your full, your wide, and your narrow now. The mega chirp. New transducer. HW. High wide plus mega down imaging. 75. That's the brand new transducers that comes with this unit. There's your mega. Mega Imaging, we'll look at a couple of the color palettes. If you got a 360, you can hook up your 360 to this guy, split screen. Got your zoom view, your mapping. Just a bunch of different, you got your tachometers, just a bunch of different screens. Half of them I, I won't even use. This is probably gonna be up on my trolling motor most of the time, so. Look at a couple of different color palettes on this. This is a new, this is a color palette. This isn't new, but this is a color palette all the ice fishermen are using right now. 
So I'm real interested to try that out. And then let's take a look at um, one of the best features on this guy here is the uh, Lake Masters. Let's talk a little bit. One of the best features on these Hummingbird units is their charting. Um, I'm in California. I go through droughts all the time. So my lakes go up and down. I'm able to redraw the mapping with the features in here. We'll go to Lake List. We'll just pick a, one of my favorite reservoirs right here, Lake Don Pedro. And I'll show you how I'll set this up if I was out on Don Pedro. So right now my lake is down probably about 35 feet. So I can redraw that map. I can redraw the lake down about 30 feet. And you can start looking at all, everything you want to look at. All these underwater islands. If you want to look for main lake points. See if I can't find a main lake point real quick. Here's one. See this point right here, it comes out. See how this point comes out? I'll probably start up here somewhere and work my work my way back down. See if there were any fish on this point. But here's here's another thing you can do here. Shallow water highlight. This this will highlight. You don't want to go anywhere in between 15 foot. You don't want to bottom your boat out. That's a safety feature. Then. Right now it's winter time. These fish, they can be anywhere to 50 foot. From, from zero foot to 50 foot right now. So I'd probably set it up something like this. So I could pretty much find all the juice right here from the garage. You see how it turned this whole point? So all this would be dead water. And then anywhere in that green, that 50 foot and in is what I'd like to target. So I'd look at I'd look at these here. These these are islands way out in the middle of the lake. There'd probably be there probably be a stack of fish right here on these. I mean you can do quite a bit with this Lake Master, so Anyway, I wanted to show you guys that. And that's basically it, guys. If you have, Like I said, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'll get back to you. I'm going to get this unit out on the lake. I'm trying to try to get some fish on the screen. I'm going to try to do a drop shot video with this, uh, with this unit. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If not, no biggie. Give, smash that thumbs down. Subscribe. And until next time, guys, Bass Monkey, I'm out.